Hello, it's me, Craig Mitch, and this is your go-to place for everything involving the Virgin Money London Marathon. This is The Long Run. Welcome to The Long Run. This is the show that you are going to see every single day between now and Saturday, 6 p.m. live from London. And today we are joined by a special guest, okay? Uh, this You should know her very well if you're into your running. She's a British elite long-distance runner. It is Charlotte Purdue. Charlotte, how are you? Hello, I'm good, thanks, yeah. So how is it feeling? How, how has everything been? Obviously, it's race week. How are you feeling ahead of the big day? Yeah, I'm excited to get going now. Um, I always hate the last few days. They kind of drag on a bit, if I'm honest. Yeah. Um, just kind of want to run. Uh, but yeah, it's go been going well, so happy. Uh, nerves or excitement? What, what's the um, feeling? I get more excited more than nervous and yeah. kind of just anxious to get the race started. Like I said, I just hate hanging around now before. Mm. it's You just don't really know what to do with yourself. You you're just want to get out there. Yeah, you're just it. sitting around. Like, there's not really much... There's hardly any training to do, yeah. so it's just like waiting around and it's just a bit boring. <laughs> oh, I don't worry, it's going to come but, soon. Yeah. So you're the very first guest in the Long Run studio. What awesome. do you think of it? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I was Got really some surprised. some iconic images on there. Yeah, it's really cool. With a lot of pictures. Yeah, I think we might need to get you up there somewhere. We I know. We need to just slot it in. Would you looking I'd for yourself? I'd like to go and buy the Queen or... <laughs> yeah, you know, go right there. Princess Charlotte will call you. Yeah, All right. that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to do a poll every yep. day on this show, okay? Now, guys watching this, uh, wherever you're watching it, if you're on YouTube, Facebook, this poll is only going to take place on Twitter. So you can only vote via Twitter, okay? And the poll is, who will cross the finish line first? Will it be Charlotte or will it be Lily Partridge? Who is it going to be? Charlotte, who's it going to be? Oh, uh, well, obviously, it's going to be me. I like that, I like that. <laughs> I like that. See, the athletes are always compare if you've backed yourself. If you agree with Charlotte, then make sure you give her your vote. If you think it's going to be Lily Partridge, then make sure you give Lily your vote. It's as simple as that. Remember, you can only do it via Twitter. All right, let's get into some more <laughs> chat. Um, how has the preparation been for the 2019 Virgin Money London Marathon? How, how um, have you found your preparation? It has gone very well. I yeah. can't fault the preparation. So if the prep's gone as well as I hope the race will go, it's going to go well. Um, obviously, the race, there is so much that can go wrong in the marathon just because it's so long, yeah. uh, but the prep's gone really well, so yeah, happy. That's good. And what makes <coughs> the Virgin Money London Marathon special, in your opinion? What makes it so special? Um, well, obviously being a Brit, it's great running in London. Um, Speaking of Brit, do you want to yep. show them? She's got <laughs> Union Jack nails. nails on. Look at that. Yep. Very patriotic, love that. I love having matching nails. Yep. Um, so yeah, being a Brit, it's obviously great running with a home crowd. Um, definitely is a massive buzz when you're running and everyone's cheering your name or just that people know you better than if you were like in Germany or another country. So yeah. that's, yeah, makes it the best marathon for me. So you say home, the, the fact that it's yeah, home definitely. makes it so special. Yeah, like I've run in London Marathon before and I've done other marathons, but this one is the best one. The London Marathon is the best. Yeah. So like you just mentioned, you said it, it, you've run it before. This is going to be your second one. You ran it back in 2000. Third one. Oh, this is your third yeah, London. This, this will be my third. Yeah, I've done London. two. London. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what have you learned from the first two? So the first one I did 2016 was actually my first ever marathon. Um, okay. So that was like, whoa, <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. And then. What did you take from that one going into your second one? Um. Well, it was my first time running 26.2 miles. So mm. I was kind of just like, a bit overwhelmed by yeah. doing the whole thing but it was really good yeah it's first ever marathon so was, yeah that was really cool are there any like sort of techniques you you've kind of developed to kind of help you get through it or anything i don't um, know like in terms of pacing yourself or i don't know yeah after doing that one i was just happy that i could actually run a marathon because yeah, i didn't I know before then like i'd never run even training 26.2 miles so i didn't yeah. know i could actually run 26.2 miles so that was really cool to tick it off that i'd mm. done it so then the next one was always going to be trying to run faster than the first one. 
Um, and yeah, I did that. So that was that was good. And I actually qualified for the world champs in the next one. Oh wow! Um, and that was going to be in London. So I ran two marathons in London in 2017. One being the London Marathon, mm -hmm. and then the other one in August was the London World Championships. Yeah. So that was cool. That started and finished on Tower Bridge, and it just did 10k loops around. Oh wow! Yeah. So that was pretty cool. I've um, run 10k before. <laughs> it was yeah, four times 10k and, and see, then that's, that's an extra 2k it's a whole different thing just want to yeah. ask you you got your number you registered yeah yeah i registered yeah okay, i think amazing. <laughs> she said i think i don't know well that's good because a lot of people were down there we had people in their thousands registering getting their names numbers everything ready at the running show expo take a look at this the virgin money london marathon running show 2019 is now open you need to get yourself down here before Saturday, 6 p.m. to collect your number. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Come with me. So once you come in, you're going to find your number stand and come on over. I'm with Chris now, who's going to show us exactly what is going down. You're going to find your number stand. You're going to bring over your phone with that unique barcode. These amazing assistants are going to help you. And you'll get everything you need from here. Your number, your kit bag, and like we said, the important part, Matt, your mat somewhere. and your free pipe. And it is as easy as that. You've got your number, you've got your kit bag, and then you're going to make your way through this amazing arch of balloons, pick up your tag for your trainers, and then you enter the fun bit. It's the running show. Go immerse yourself and most importantly, have fun. I'll see you on Sunday. So there you have it, people down there getting ready. I think once you, you know, you've got your number, you're registered, I think that's when it really becomes real, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Like for me, coming to the race hotel is when it's real. So today. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Me being here as well, I'm just seeing all the runners in here. Everyone in their running gear, I'm like, okay, this is it. Yeah, this is There's it. There's no turning back now. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> All right, so Charlotte, I want to ask you as well. Um, you recently won the Vitality Big Half in London. Yep. Was that your second year running? Yeah, second year. So it's actually the So we'll come back and win it again. Uh, um, that was cool. How, how was that? How did, how did it feel? It was very windy this year. So, really? yeah, I don't know if you saw, but the weather was really windy. Like, standing on the start line was, oh, it was real windy. So it was good to actually, yeah, win again. I was just concerned about the weather. So that's the thing. Talk about the weather conditions for, for those watching that don't know. I mean, what, what would you say is the best weather to run in? Because I know a lot of people train in heat. Yep. But, I mean... In my mind, the heat would be difficult to run in, but you're saying yeah. wind's quite difficult. So what would I'd you say? I'd say is wind is the worst for okay. me, definitely. Yeah. Uh, it was hot last year for London Marathon. I didn't run last year, but mm. it was hot. Uh, that would also be challenging. I think this year looks pretty perfect. Uh, yeah. It does. I try not to look too much because you can't do anything about it. Of so, I mean, if it was like it was at the big half, I would still run. Yeah. So you can't do anything about it. So there's no point worrying about it. Um, so yeah, I don't like to look, but I think perfect. It could be perfect on Sunday, maybe, what I'm hearing. Um, I don't mind the rain, just the wind, I'd say, was probably the most challenging. Hopefully no wind. Hopefully we don't have any <laughs> wind here in London. Yeah. Uh, what advice would you give for you know, the runners that are taking part this year uh, in the final few days heading up to it? I'd say don't do too much running. Um, you can't gain any fitness now. You can mm. literally just make yourself more tired. So obviously run do whatever you are planning to do, but don't overdo it. If you miss training, don't try and cram it now. Yeah. Um, make sure you just follow your own nutrition plan as well. Um, a lot of people might be tempted to eat something different in the days leading up, or like they go to the expo and see this new gel and they think, oh, I'm gonna try that. Don't, <laughs> don't, do, <laughs> don't try the new gel, just like stick to what you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you're staying in a hotel, also stick to foods that you know. Um, Makes just, sense. Yeah. Don't want to risk it. Don't risk it. Don't risk Definitely it. Definitely don't no risk it. No food poisoning. No. We don't want that. And uh, finally, what, what would success be for you this year? Uh, I just want to run a big personal best. Um, what, 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 what are you aiming for? What is it? Well, my personal best is 229, um, 23. So I'd That's like good. to run, yeah, I'd say, I don't know, at least three minutes faster. Okay. So a big I'm sure you're going to do it. The powers are with you. I'm giving you all of my so. positive energy Thanks. that way. <laughs> Um, and obviously, if you complete the race, which yeah. you will, you'll get one of these. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, have you seen this year's one, by the way? I actually did see it earlier. Oh, I kind of feel I like it's... we had an exclusive It's you. a bad omen putting it on. Really? I don't want to put it on. I'm going to put it on. I can feel <laughs> the power already. I'm ready to run. 
That's five cool. marathons. No. Yeah, I don't know. This it, is amazing. It you is cool. No, you don't want to hold it even? I've, I've already held oh, it, already but held I just it. don't okay. want to put it on. Already. I hear you. So here, here it is. Wait. Here's the medal for everyone that's running this year. Amazing design, by the way. Very weighty. Cool. Um, and speaking of people <laughs> that win medals, obviously there are two people that are going head to head this year. You should know them very well. So Mo Farah and Elliot Kipchoge. Um, and then they did a little bit of a face-off. Here's the hype video. Have a look at this. So there you have it, <laughs> Mo Farah, Kipchoge going head to head. What's your thoughts on, on, you know, it's not really a rivalry, do you know what I mean? Obviously they're two of the greatest and they have a huge amount of respect for each other. What's, what's your thoughts on those two? Uh, it's going to be a great race. Mm. Obviously Mo, I would back Mo because he's British. Yeah. Um, but Kipchoge is also an incredible runner, mm. um, world record. Uh, also running that sub two marathon that yeah. was impressive so they're both amazing athletes so I mean yeah. I mean Mo he's he's kind of conceded that you know Kipchoge is the best in the world it's yeah. going to be very difficult to take him what, what do you think makes Kipchoge so good how, how is he that good uh, I don't know he's just really good at running the marathon um, yeah. other events obviously he wasn't as good but the marathon is just unbeatable really so yeah yeah was Mo as he moves to the marathon and kind of learns the event, it's interesting to mm. see how every time he gets better when he runs. So, uh, and is it? Would you say the similarities between obviously you know doing you know Olympic running and things of that nature, marathon? Is it a huge jump in your opinion, or is it similar ballpark? Um, I think the training is a lot different. It's a okay. lot more miles. Um, but obviously, if you're a good runner on the track, you're most likely going to be a good runner at the marathon but it is so different it's so much further than the 10k mm. it's and it's not a flat track you're going with exactly. different conditions and yeah you know i mean and like i said before it's four 10ks put together not just one so it is a lot different um but yeah mo's getting better every time he runs a marathon mm. so it's going to be a great race on it Sunday. is both in good spirits and they both <laughs> had a press conference have a look at this the crowd always helps me in London. Uh, they do lift you up and um, I just can't wait to get out in, this, in the street. But I just go out there on Sunday, enjoy it. The work's been done. All has been well. Uh, and I'm, uh, I'm appreciating I came to come back to London for the fourth time. Um, I want to say I, I like London and I, I'm ready to compete on Sunday. Um, I can say training has been going on well. And I normally eat uh, till uh, at times. I normally eat uh, the IT miles in, in training. And I can say I'm, uh, I'm good and I'm fit. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning as I go along. Marathon's completely different to track. And um, uh, since like racing against Elliot in London, um, having learned the hard way, I, I believe that I've learned a lot. Um, I think each race you do, you do get better and get a bit more experience and, and going into Chicago, I knew training has gone well and I was just enjoying it. And I think as an athlete, whatever you do, if you're not enjoying it and, and, and going out there, then it's hard to run your best. And when I run my best, it's when I'm enjoying it, when I'm happy. And definitely that was Chicago. So there you have it, Farah versus Kipchoge. And the thing is, like I said earlier, it's, it, it's a bit of a rivalry, but they, they have so much respect for each other, you can see it. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, obviously they both know each other, what they've done before, so mm. yeah, they're both af equally afraid of each other, maybe. And it's funny, because it's, it's like a boxing face-off. You know, we've had them, they've gone head-to-head, -head, we've got pictures of them squaring up, you know, they're doing press conferences, and it's just kind of kind of adding to that spectacle, isn't it, if you're, if yeah. you're a fan of long-distance running? Yeah, definitely. I mean, a lot of people have said that this this rivalry, this race is going to be like one of the best um, marathons that we've had in recent years. So mm. I think a lot of people will be interested to watch and see what happens. <laughs> Would you think, is it fair to say it's just getting more and more popular every year in your opinion? Because even for me, the people I know are showing more of an interest in it. Young people I know are showing more of an interest. Have you seen that? Yeah, I think especially in England, as we've got Mo, um, he's obviously a British athlete. So mm. 
yeah, it brings more British people behind watching the race because it's more relevant. Uh, so that's really cool that we've got a top British uh, male athlete running. Um, yeah. Yeah, going for the win. <laughs> Such an amazing personality as well. Yeah. And he runs. I've, I've watched him train. We, we did something with him and he, you can see the pace he runs at. It's frightening. Oh, so fast. <laughs> it's so fast. And yeah. the thing is, if, if you actually want to try and run at that pace, there's something called... Do you know what it's called? Yes. What is it called? I can't remember. <laughs> it's called a tumbulator. So if you want to try and take on that pace, yeah. the tumbulator. The and we had our very own Esme go down there to try out the running show. Let's have, take a look. All right, you heard it here first. I'm about to take on the tumblator. I'm going for Mary Katani's world record pace of 11.47 miles per hour. Let's do this. Oh, it's bouncing. Lovely. I've done it! I've done it! So that was a lovely Esme there running uh, on the tumbler, and she was actually running at Mary Katani's pace. So you can run at different paces. You can, you know, set it and see which one you want to run at. Personally, I wouldn't want to try and run at Kachogi's pace or, or Mo Farah's pace. I think I'd absolutely die and fall off of it. But it's all good. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is get some questions for you from the viewers. So people have been yep. sending in their questions uh, online. We're going to go in the first one. The first question comes from Sarah. Thank you, Sarah, for tuning in. And she says, what's your pre-marathon breakfast? Oh, good question. Um, mm. I like to just keep it pretty boring, to be honest. Um, so I just have porridge and banana and honey and a little bit of peanut butter. I it's mean, good though, that's not that boring. Yeah, true, I guess. It's got flavours. Yeah, I don't know what else you would really have before a marathon. Yeah. I heard that's pretty common, I guess. I'd probably um, have a fry up. Yeah, the week after the race, I have different, very different breakfasts. You deserve it, you deserve it. All right, let's go with our next question. It comes from Ashley, um, and they said, what runner inspires you and have you run with them? Oh, good question again. Um, I am really inspired by Shalane Flanagan. She okay. is an American runner. I yeah. haven't run with her, but I have seen her on a training camp that I've been on. Um, what is it about her? She's just really... I don't know. She's really good. Um, yeah. Obviously, she won the New York Marathon. That was really inspiring. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, I think it was last year she came, or the year before, came back and she'd had a few injury problems and she managed to get on the podium again. Um, that's really inspiring. She's just really good at the marathon and because she's a non-African, it's more relatable for myself. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she's really dominant runner. So. Amazing. All right. So question three comes from Calvin uh, and Calvin said, should I stop jogging from now? I'm in the <laughs> final race week. Um, what day are we? Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, I would stick to your usual routine of um, when you usually run the days, but just um, make the intensity less and the duration less. But no, I wouldn't stop jogging now. Mm. Just... Uh, you want to keep that conditioning there. Yeah, a bit, don't you don't you? want to stop and do nothing because yeah. then your muscles will like seize up. But you want to do less and you want to do less um, intense running. So um. intricate. There's so <laughs> much. This is this is like a real science to this. Yeah, uh, there we've is. got another question from Suzanne. Suzanne says, "Do you use nutrition on the way around?" Uh, yes, I do. So every 10k, I take on carbohydrates. Um, yep. So I mix the gel into my drink mm. and. Because we're in the elite race, we actually get our drinks on a special table for us. But every 10k, table. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a uh, it is nice uh, not having to think about carrying it around. But yeah, mm. every 10k, I take on carbohydrates um, yeah. in the race. Okay, so there you go, Suzanne. Uh, we'll take one more from uh, Caroline, uh, and she says, "What advice would you give a first timer?" In the race, um, I would say enjoy the experience and don't go off too hard. Um, the first 5K is slightly downhill, so a lot of people get carried away um, and they run fast because obviously they feel fresh, they feel great. They're like, yeah, I'm running the London Marathon, but it is a long way. So I would 
definitely say, yeah, keep within yourself the first half and then the second half, if you feel good, start to push on. Okay, that's some good advice. I've got one more. Let's go. Oliver, he says, if you were neck and neck with first place, yep. at which part of the course <laughs> would you try and make your move? Don't uh, worry if no time. That's a good question. I don't think I'm going to win the actual race, but <laughs> <laughs> you never you know. You never know. Um, so I would try to make my move maybe the last 5k um, okay. because it's long enough out, but it's not. It's quite close to the finish still. Mm. I always like running past the uh, mini marathon start, which is 2.6 um, miles, I think, from okay. the end because I used to do the mini marathon when I was younger. Oh, so it's kind of like, oh, cool, I used to run the mini marathon. So um, you were destined for this, you doing mini <laughs> Exactly. Marathons. While I was playing with Lego, <laughs> like figurines, uh, you were doing mini marathons. Yeah, I, I did do the mini marathon when oh, I was amazing. younger. All right, so the poll at the <coughs> moment, who's in favour of? Oh, no, <laughs> I'm scared. Is currently 52% in favour of Charlotte. Oh. At the moment... But we're going to announce at the end of the show. So remember, the poll is on Twitter, guys. Go on the London Marathon, at London Marathon Twitter. Check it out. Cast your vote. Who do you think is going to, you know, finish the race first? Do you think it's going to be Charlotte or do you think it's going to be Lily Partridge? Let us know. <laughs> All right. So now it is time for another clip. And this one is the behind the scenes of the build montage. Look at this. there and so much effort goes into putting that all together and you know everyone talks about the runners and you know the selfless contributions they make doing these things for charity running long distance but there's also volunteers as well that help set these things up yep and put it on so that the runners can go and run and be exactly. them exactly yeah definitely um loads of uh, volunteers so it's really really good to see a lot of good work gone into that also remember the hashtag this year is thanks a billion a billion pound has been raised Finally, for the London Marathon, it's an amazing achievement. We're super proud of it. So like I said, the hashtag is thanks a billion. Let's talk about the women's elite race, all right? So if someone's just tuned in, they don't know anything about it, how would you describe it? Stacked. <laughs> stacked? What does yeah. that mean? What does stacked mean? There's a lot of really good runners in the women's elite race. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, good African runners and then there's good American runners. And yeah. then I think the British field is also really good. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely a lot of competition this year. So mm. it's going to be a good race. And what would you say is the hardest thing about running in the women's elite race, in your personal opinion? Um, I'd say the hardest thing, in my opinion, is the fact that if you get separated from like the leaders, for example, you might be yeah. running alone for a bit, whereas if you were in... like a main race you would have men to run with whereas we just have women only yeah. um so a couple of years ago when i ran i was alone for the last 10 miles so that was really tough oh. um but yeah you got through though you i did, did yeah you actually did it um and you've been giving tips throughout the show which yep. we really appreciate but we also had someone else <laughs> to give you last minute tips martin yelling look at this hi i'm martin yelling and i'm the virgin money london marathon coach Keep up that routine that you've established and keep your regular running going. A really important thing to do is to focus on the duration or the distance of your longest run of the week. So once a week, try and gradually and progressively increase the distance of your longest run so you get stronger, go for longer and get more confident. 
Another thing to practice is your running pace. When you're running a marathon, it's so important to have an understanding of the pace you want to try and complete your marathon at. Understand that in your training and you'll do better on race day. Thank you, Martin. Uh, I'm going to take those tips for when I run, but for now, it's for you guys to have those tips. Now, it is time for the result of the poll. How are you feeling? Are you feeling confident? I'm more nervous than for the race. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm always win. joking. No matter what it is, it could be anything they want to win. <laughs> I can reveal, well, it's coming in now, that the winner of the poll on Twitter, who's going to finish the race first, Lily or Charlotte? And the winner is with 55% of the votes. Charlotte. Oh, thanks, guys. Charlotte. Let's give Charlotte a clap. <laughs> She's done the thing. Thank, Thank you so much, Charlotte, for joining us. Thank you. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here. And finally, um, if you could sum up uh, the Virgin Money London Marathon in one word, just one word, what would it be? Awesome. <laughs> awesome. I love that. Thank you so much for joining us. Guys, Thank you. And remember, we are going to be here same time tomorrow, roughly 6 p.m. right here on all of the London Marathon socials. So that's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Make sure you join us. We're going to be joined by the special guest that is David Weir here on The Long Run. But until then, we'll see you next time. Amazing. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thanks. That was Man, good. I was a bit sweaty from the